Sunday's Valentine's Day, and Jerry Cleaver is so sweet. You know, he's very sweet on me, and he's very sweet on Rita, that he took the day off today so he could go get us Valentine's Day gifts. And, of course, his wife, Faylene, who decides to share us with her. So thank you, Faylene. So Rita Peters is here to make sure that all your gardening questions get answered. Good morning, Rita. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. So tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Let's get to it, right? All right. Let's all right. Do our it. first question is from Steve from Waukee. Should tomato plants be planted in different locations in the garden each year? This last year, several of my tomato plants had small black spots on the bottom. First of all, yes, they should be changed as much as you can move them around the garden every year. And then what he had was called blossom and rot. And you need two items to take care of that. One of those I have right here, it's called Funginelle. The other is NutriCal, and you put that on every two weeks after you plant it. I love tomatoes in the summer, so, and I know some of you great? make some great salsa out of it. <laughs> Hopefully Steve does too. All right, Jason in Lorville says, I have a huge problem with creeping Charlies in my yard. That's not a good deal. <laughs> I've tried using 2,4-D, and it just stuns it. What's a good product to use to kill it? Well, last year we had a lot of people had trouble with Creeping Charlie. You need three things. You need an orthodial sprayer. Then you need this Weed Be Gone Max and okay. this spreader sticker, those two items. Okay. Then you put the uh, third of the bottle of spreader sticker in, in your uh, sprayer. Fill the rest with Weed Be Gone Max. Then you, make, you put it on three, which means you'll get three ounces per every gallon of water. Okay. And then you spray it three times. Three ten, times. Ten days apart. Ten days apart. And that'll take care of it. All right. You got that, Jason? Okay. You got that all? That's going to get rid of your creeping Charlies. All right. Linda in Des Moines, great question. My grandsons live in Prairie City and grow vegetables for 4-H exhibit. This past year, the potatoes were not very big and they were, get this green, mm -hmm. they were covered and protected from the sun. What can we do? Well, first of all, last summer was an unusual year for growing things and there were a lot of issues out there that the weather caused. So make sure you use called Canabac Potatoes. And then, uh, which is a certified seed potato. Okay. And then when they get 24 inches tall, you mound that soil up, and then you can put some um, some straw around them, some weed for straw to help protect them. Oh, great idea. Okay. All right, I love this question. Travis from Urbandale. Travis, we can hang out because I want to have a garden too this year. He says, I'm going to have a garden this year. What should I plant? Well, first of all, how large of a garden do you have? How, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll say it's not large. It's probably large. about the size of this. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you decide, it, do you want to consume everything that you plant right now, or mm -hmm. do you want something for later in the year that later. you can freeze? Okay. Okay, so then if you do that, you probably want to do some peas. You maybe want to freeze some tomatoes, which you can freeze tomatoes, and then you can do some beans. But there's some things you want to consume now, your cauliflower, broccoli, things like that. All right, perfect. Okay. Well, Rita, thank you so much for helping us get grown. If you have any gardening or growing questions, just drop us a line. Go to hy and click on the Get Grown.